Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here with another episode of the show. I'm a little bit, not sick, but I've got the allergies going, so uh, the voice isn't uh, the melodious, normal voice that I have. Um, yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get back into more Bordeaux wine. So I've got another 13 bottles of Bordeaux wine. Well, not Bordeaux wine, French wine. Let me uh, backtrack on this. Now these are all wines I bought while I was in uh, France. Now some of them I bought in Paris, um, by the hotel no less, and um, a couple of them I bought in uh, saint julien which is just um, south of Poyac. Um, I went to a, a wine shop there, bought a couple bottles, and I intended to go back and buy more, but ended up just never having time to go. So, um, anyway, so, uh, apologies to Via Venom, um, Venom, not Venom, Via Venom, for not going back. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first one, so I start with a white wine, and I think it's the only white wine that I bought there. Um, I have two other wines that were given to me um, by, a, uh, by a producer uh, in Loire Valley, so, um, but we're not going to do those yet. We're going to do those a little bit later. This is another producer from the Loire Valley. Now this is a, um, the reason I bought this wine is I have a cousin, uh, Maria, that lives in uh, Paris. And it's one of those long lost cousins we didn't really know we had. And uh, recently we found out we have cousins. <clears throat> and uh, she was born in France and she was born in the area of Riuli, um, which is in the Loire Valley. Now there's, a, there's another Riuli somewhere near Paris, or not Paris, uh, somewhere farther east, it's more north and all. Anyway, not the same one. Uh, I think it's Riuli Savigny is the other Riuli. Anyway, so <clears throat> this is. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this wine here. This is the 2009 uh, Claude Lafond uh, Riuli uh, from the Le Croix Vineyard or Air Parcel or whatever. So a few things about uh, about this. Claude Lafond is one of the largest, or actually is the largest um, winery in Riuli. Um, Riuli. Um, and uh, he inherited it from his father. They've been producing wine for a while there. Um, he has 30 hectares uh, planted, and uh, they use um, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Gris. Now, this is a Sauvignon Blanc. Now, I did find one website that said it was Pinot Gris, but I went to a couple other websites a little bit more official, and it is a Sauvignon Blanc, which makes more sense because that's more of the primary uh, well, one of the primary white grape varietals in Loire Valley is Sauvignon Blanc. So, um, anyway, so he has uh, a few other, they call them plantings, and um, uh, La Croix is one of them. So, is, I'm going to assume this is the La Croix vineyard or the area. So, it's kind of like a single vineyard wine. Um, it's, I don't know how big it is because I can't really find out too much. Their website, unfortunately, just says under construction. Even though there's links to it <laughs> from other places, they haven't done much with the website. Um, uh, Riuli is um, just east of Tours uh, in the Loire Valley, so to give you an idea where that is, Tours is kind of like in the center of the Loire Valley. All right, so let's check it out. Um, color, <clears throat> It's kind of, well, the problem is this is kind of, you know, I modify the color of, of the videos. I look a lot more yellow in the actual videos, and I make it look a lot whiter and bluer. So, um, so the, the light is making this look really, really almost the same color as this paper here, um, that manila golden type of color, um, which isn't too bad, you know, as far as um, what it should look like. Um, it's pretty clear. I wouldn't call it bright or star bright. Actually, it seems like it's a little 
cloudy. Viscosity wise, um, I'd say low to maybe medium. Uh, I know the alcohol is 12.5%, so it's not a very high alcohol wine. Let's go ahead and get right into uh, smelling it. So right off the bat, I'm getting that kind of um, citrusy. Um, I don't need the receipts because I already have all the prices written down. Uh, the citrusy type of um, aromas, so that lemon, lime type of uh, aroma that you typically get. Maybe a bit of grass, but nothing, um, nothing really overpowering as far as vegetal. And that's about it. Let's go and taste it. Very typical. Of, of Sauvignon Blancs, it's got, still has the um, citrusy, lemon-lime uh, type of flavor profile to it. Acid's pretty light. It doesn't, it's not really just sharp right down the middle of your tongue type of acid. It's kind of, it's kind of spread out. <clears throat> I don't want to use the word flat because it makes it sound like the, the wine's a flat wine. Technically it is, it's a still wine, um, which is funny because Let's see, where, where did they, <clears throat> in another wine that, that uh, I was looking up, Vin Tranquille. So tranquil wine, I guess that's, a, that's what the French call a still wine, something I learned today. Anyway, um, <clears throat> it's not too intense, it's pretty light, I mean, and I'm drinking this at room temperature, so um, it, it, it doesn't really, uh, a lot of white wines at, at room temperature tend to be a little more <clears throat> harsh. So um, this really isn't that harsh. It's very pleasant wine. I forgot to say the price. Um, bought this for nine euros seventy cents. Um, 9.7 euros, and uh, that translates into today's dollar. It's almost the perfect conversion to $13.36. Man, could I just get another penny? I mean, if I had done this tomorrow or yesterday, it would have been. Um, you know what? What? What the actual conversion was at the time? I, I can't. I can't necessarily tell you, but it was probably pretty darn close, being like a $13 wine. Um, for that kind of money, it's it's. As good as anything you're going to find here in the States, uh, I challenge you to find this in the States. You probably won't. You probably won't even find anything from uh, the Lafond. Uh, well, you might find something over here, but I, I highly doubt you'll find it over here. You chill a little bit, it'll be pretty refreshing. Um, I'd recommend it. It's, it's, it does, I don't think it's like, um, it's not uh, anything that's going to be like, um, super memorable like you know this is the best Sauvignon Blanc I've ever had but it's it's good it's you know reasonably priced thirteen dollars you know I'm sure there's some ten dollar and under Sauvignon Blancs that are gonna be just as good it's decent um, but I don't think it warrants anything higher than an 85 um, I would say you know, 85 points. It's it's a good wine. I like it. Um, if I saw it again, I'd buy it type of thing. So um, I would recommend buying it. Uh, like I said, you could probably find wine equally as good for you know the the 10 euro range. I don't know how <clears throat> the French or the Europeans, you know, if, they, if there's kind of the same thing, same mindset as Americans, you know, that 10. You know, 10 is a significant number as far as pricing, so they get under 10 euros. That's kind of like, okay, it's under 10 euros is all, all the same uh, because if it was under $10, it would be closer to about 7 euros. So um, I don't know how, they, how their mindset is, but um, pretty decent. 85. I forgot to put my uh, 85. Ta-da. 
Oh, I forgot to write all that down. I'll, I'll try to do that later. Anyway, um, like I said, if you find it in the store, uh, go ahead and buy this. I did buy this at a store called Nicholas, and uh, they're like the huge wine chain in France, or at least in Paris, but definitely France, um, or definitely Paris, I don't know. <clears throat> I bought a bunch of wine from those guys and right before they closed, too, for the day. I thought they closed at like 9, they closed at 8. So anyway, um, I'm just going to do it for the wine. I forgot to set the timer, so I don't know exactly oops, uh, how long we're doing. A few things. Um, for the next few episodes, I'm going to be wearing uh, the other wine blogger's T-shirt to kind of give her a little bit of, um, a little bit of uh, recognition. How about that? Well, advertising, free advertising. Um, it's kind of hard to read the whole thing, so I have to search it out. So it says, Real Men Read, Venusly Speaking Wine Blog. It has her thing. On the back, it should have a definition of uh, Venusly. I forgot exactly what it says, but um, um, I'd have to look at it. But and that requires me taking off the shirt, and we don't want to blind the camera. So um, uh, stop by Ceci Barreto's uh, wine blog. She's the other wine blogger here in town. Uh, hopefully we'll have some, uh, uh, some co-blogging opportunities soon. Uh, we're kind of thinking about, we're working on a few things. Um, <clears throat> one of those being episode 200, because her 200th post and my 200th episode are coming up. So we are looking to do something combined with that. Um, we got Thanksgiving coming up, so look for a Thanksgiving special. So I'll be heading out buying some wine for that. Uh, we also got got that the uh, Beaujolais Nouveau. Um, we got the Beaujolais Nouveau tasting, and um, it's happening on the 17th of this month, November. Hello. Um, got a couple things going on. One, I'll be with uh, with Ceci. has got an event going on here in San Antonio, so if uh, you are local or can be in town for that event, stop by her website. There's a link to uh, the event. Buy it, you know, buy the ticket for it and stop by. Um, also, earlier in the day, I'll be participating in the Wine Twits, um, Beaujolais Nouveau tasting. Specifically, that's going to be George Booth. but um, I'm going to try to get a couple other better Beaujolais, maybe not Beaujolais Nouveau, but other better Beaujolais. It's just kind of, kind of like what we're doing on the night side, too. Uh, we're, we're really going to be focusing on the, the better Beaujolais, not the Beaujolais Nouveau grape juice. Um, let's see. And I'm not trying to really badmouth Beaujolais Nouveau, but there's better wine out there. It's, it's, it's a marketing thing. It's, you know, it's France's white Zinfandel, I guess. Um, it's not horrible. It's, you know, just tasty and kind of sweet, and it's just very, very, very young wine. Um, anyway, so I've got that going on. Um, and as always... You know, if you're not on the website, check out the website. Uh, that's where all the back catalog of videos are. I've got sommelier school there. Uh, I've got the donation area. I kind of made it more current that I'm not going to France because I've already been there. So uh, stop by, donate something. I've had some people donate recently, which is awesome. And uh, leave comments below. That's all I got. We'll see everybody again next time.